to my channel. I'm wearing black lipstick in the spirit of October. I'm actually filming this before Halloween, so I'm not sure when I'm putting it up. It might be after Halloween. It might not be, but hey. That explains the black lipstick and the candy corn nails. <laughs> Today I have a very quick, probably my quickest, shortest, beauty monthly favorite video for you for the month of October. I just, I guess I'm just using the same things I've been using the past couple months. I did get some new makeup for my birthday, but I'm still like testing it out, seeing if I, you know, love it or don't love it or just feel mediocre about it. So I don't have that much to share, but I do have some good things, some things I really like, so I'm excited to tell you. So let's do it! I have two nail polishes. The majority of the month was spent doing my annual October nails, which you can see all on my Instagram if you're interested. I start the month out with some glittery orange nails, then for my birthday I do black nails, and then for Halloween for the past five years I've done candy corn nails. So, not a whole lot of room for trying new polishes, but I did try two new polishes in that time. The first one I want to talk about, I only tried on my toes, but I still loved it and I can't wait to try it on my fingers. This is called Cement the Deal. It's a really cool light gray color and it actually came out like more opaque than it looks it's gonna come out if that made any sense I was inspired because Nikki Philippi Instagrammed this beautiful light gray Essie shade and when I got my nails done black for my birthday I don't really love dark colors on my toes so I brought this to try and I totally love it this is from the 50 shades of gray collection that was a couple years ago like the winter movie release two years ago so if I can find it on Amazon I will link it down below but it was beautiful as far as gray polishes go and I just love gray polishes because I think that they're not done that often. Outside of like taupe shades, like gr true grays I think are so cool. And then I also have this from the most recent fall winter collection. Well, not the most recent, which I do have an OPI haul for the Breakfast with Tiffany's collection coming up soon. I've already filmed it, just gotta edit it for you. But this is from the Washington DC collection. It's called Stay Off the Lawn. This is one of the ones I was most excited to try and I totally loved it. It was beautiful in two coats. I feel like I've tried polishes like this from OPI before, but I hated them because they had shimmer in them or they were pulling the wrong shade of green or something. This is beautiful and I'm obsessed with it. I just loved the formula, loved the color, loved that it was like a dark blue green for the fall and you should definitely try it if you're into that. I only have one makeup favorite this month and it is a brush. This is the Sigma Strobing Fan F42 brush. They sent this to me. I've never owned a fan brush before and I see everybody use them and they just look so much fun so I'm really excited to own one. Most days I wear two highlighters. Today I'm just wearing one but I will wear my Hourglass Strobing Brilliance whatever powder and then if I want to put some more highlight on top of it I will use this usually in Champagne Pop and just really kind of feather it out to make it you know not so intense or to build it up if you want it to be intense but I just love it for just like extra highlight and it's great for down the nose as well. I know they make bigger fan brushes but I like the size of this because I can I can work with it you know it's not too overwhelming. But yeah love this I will have my Sigma info and discount code down below if you want to try it as well they also have it on Birchbox if you have some points to redeem. And then the last two favorites I have are skincare, kind of. The one is definitely skincare, the other is something else. I haven't bought the Lush Christmas stuff yet, even though it's out, because it's going to be probably the first day of Holiday Me, which yes, I'm going to be doing Holiday Me again this year. If you're new to me since last Christmas, I, for the past two years, have done what I call Holiday Me, which I upload every other day until Christmas in December. So anyway, I want to save my Lush Christmas haul for Holiday Me because I think that's a fun way to kick it off. I did go into Lush for something and they had all the Christmas stuff so I was sniffing and kind of just seeing what was up with all the new stuff and I usually don't get suckered into like their body products because I'm kind of iffy with breaking out. Their shower gels and their soaps break me out which the woman helped me uh, discover that it's the lathering agent that they use which is good news because like the lotions and stuff I'm not allergic to. I haven't I've been using this almost all month and I haven't broken out. So they came out with a twilight scented kid body lotion. It's called Sleepy and you guys, I swear that this makes me sleep better. I swear I get a better night's sleep if I rub this like all over my chest. I use this all over my entire body because it's a really great moisturizer, but it's just like the scent. You guys, it's it's literally the best. I don't I don't even know what Twilight smells like. I think it's like it's definitely lavender and like vanilla or something. I don't know. If you've smelled the Twilight Bath Bomb, this literally smells identical to it. And this ensures that I'm going to smell like it all night. And I really do think it helps me sleep better. And I love that it's like a little lavender color. And this is the smaller size. I got the smaller size because I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to break me out. Which they do have a really great return policy if you're not liking the scent or it's breaking you out. But I am definitely going to pick up one or two of the big sizes because it's only a Christmas release. And with that, which I haven't been using as much, but I did want to mention it because I 
I have been using it. This is called the Mr. Sandman Dusting Powder. It says sprinkle on some sweet lavender relaxation. And the woman told me, this does have a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I haven't done this, but she, the girl who works there, said that she sprinkles this on her pillow for like an extra boost of lavender as you're falling asleep. It smells identical to the Twilight Bath Bomb and the cream. How she demoed it in store was she put this on first and then she put a little bit of the powder on top of it just to kind of like seal it in. and had a little bit of shimmer and I use this on my birthday all over my body. But I definitely want to try it on my pillow because, I don't know, I just think that sounds gimmicky and fun. My hair's driving me nuts today. I got it cut yesterday so it should not be driving me nuts, but it is. Anyway, I also just love it because it smells so incredibly good. So I'll have these linked down below. They're only a Christmas release, so go try them while you can and I'm gonna be stocking up. And it was relatively cheap. I think this was seven bucks and you get so much powder. The size of this was 10 bucks and then the bigger one I think is like 22 or 24 or something like that. But yeah, that is it, you guys. I know that is like the shortest favorites video I've ever done. Please let me know some of your favorite products down below. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking right here so you can see what November has to offer. I have some fun videos I want to do in November actually. And then of course, holiday me. I've already got it all planned up here. I just got to get to work. But yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have a very safe and happy Halloween. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.